you guys, it's Christina and welcome to the 21 Day Fully Raw Challenge. Every single day for the next 21 days, I'm gonna be giving you one new video with tips, tricks, recipes, shopping lists, encouragement, inspiration, and more. We are gonna be living, learning, breathing, and eating a fully raw lifestyle together. And as a special thank you for joining me on this challenge, I'm gonna be giving away a free ebook at the end of this challenge to every single person who likes and comments on every video. And if you want one of these ebooks, please be sure to leave us your email in the link of the description of this video below. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you my top 10 tips on how you can start a raw food diet. And I say diet, but I really mean a lifestyle because eating fully raw is more than just eating fruits and vegetables, but it's learning how to incorporate these practices into your lifestyle so that you can be healthy and happy and keep your heart soaring all of the time. There are many different ways of eating fully raw or eating a raw food diet, but I'm gonna be focusing on consuming a low fat raw vegan lifestyle. I've been living this way for almost nine years now and it has brought me so much health and happiness and I can only wish to share this health and happiness with you. All right, you guys, are you ready? Here are my top 10 ways on how you can easily start a raw food lifestyle. Tip number one, stock up your home with as many fully raw fruits and vegetables as you wish. When you have bad food in your home, you're gonna reach for bad food. When you have great food in your home, you're gonna be much more inclined to eat these healthier foods. So fill up your home with fresh fruits and vegetables, get rid of the junk and start replacing those foods with good foods that you want to be eating. If you need an idea of how much food you need to be keeping in your home on a weekly basis, please check out my Fully Raw Shopping List video by clicking the video right here. Tip number two, Start off your day with a juice or a smoothie. Breakfast is the easiest meal of the day to eat fully raw. So try my fully raw jungle juice, my soul shine juice, my sunburst juice, my V8 juice, or even my holy grail. These are all delicious, juicy, hydrating things that you can enjoy in the morning. Tip number three, make your second meal of the day a huge platter of fruit. Fruit is fuel, fruit is fast food, fruit is energy. Eat as much fruit as you care for, and preferably try to mono meal because it will be better for your digestion. A meal of fruit in the middle of your day may look like 10 oranges, 10 bananas, five mangoes. You can eat expensive fruit, you can eat non-expensive fruit, that's all personal preference. If you're worried about eating this much fruit when you first start, keep in mind that your stomach is a muscle just like every other muscle in your body and it will expand and contract to the high water content foods that you give it. So it may take you a little bit of time, but you will get there. Tip number four, start off your dinner with a small plate of fruit and finish it with a huge rainbow salad. So I typically start off my dinners with four to five pieces of fruit, like pears or apples or oranges. And then I build myself a huge rainbow salad with as many colors as I possibly can. I typically consume about two to three heads of leafy greens a day. And for my salad dressings, I definitely recommend the dressing that I use in my spring salad. And I also post my recipes on my Facebook and my Instagram pages all the time, so you can find those recipes there as well. Number five, educate yourself. You can always check out the FAQ page on my website at fullyraw.com, and I definitely recommend the book 801010 by Dr. Douglas Graham. Number six, Exercise. Exercise is all about movement, moving your body, getting your heart rate pumping, breathing deeply. I highly recommend at least 20 minutes a day. I personally run for at least an hour every day because I love the way that it makes me feel invigorated and like I'm moving forward. Number seven, join a community where you can find encouragement and support. I always recommend finding a local food cooperative in your area like Raffley Organic where you can go and you can meet new people or find a local farm. You can even go to meetup.com and see if there are different meetups in your areas with potlucks and places where you can be social with people with similar interests. If you even want to, you can go to my Facebook page and you can start writing on the wall and seeing if other people reach out as well. There are many different ways to reach out to your community, but keep in mind that it is so important to have support when you are starting a new lifestyle. I'm here for you, we are all here for you. You're free to leave comments in the description even as well to see if there are other people in your area, but just be sure to find a community. Number eight, get rest. Heal your body, get sleep. 
If you've done a certain number of years of damage to your body, just keep in mind that it's gonna take time to heal. So make sure that you factor in enough time for you to meditate, to rest, and to work on yourself properly. Number nine, be sure to eat enough, especially fruit. The number one mistake that people make when they first start this lifestyle is that they do not consume enough fruit. And they typically tend to go and splurge on heavier things like nuts or seeds. But keep in mind that fruit is energy. When I first started eating fully raw, I felt tired and lethargic because I wasn't getting in enough calories through fruit. So download apps on your computer, your phone, like Chronometer or Tap and Track, things that you can see how much you're eating. Be sure to eat enough. This is what will give you enough energy throughout the day. My last and final tip is to be gentle with yourself. Understand that this is a journey and it is gonna take time to heal your body. But you know what? You must really care for yourself because you've already taken the first step by making a commitment to try new foods, to try this challenge, and to give this lifestyle a good go. So be gentle with yourself. Give yourself that love and support that you need. And I'm here for you too. So, sending you hugs. <laughs> so those are my top 10 tips on how you can start living a fully raw lifestyle. I'm so excited about this challenge and I really do hope that you join us on this amazing journey. If you're excited to embark upon a new journey this year and to be healthy and happy, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you need more tips, tricks, or recipes on how to go fully raw, please subscribe here to Fully Raw Christina as we try to build a community around health together and face this amazing challenge together. If you guys want to follow me daily, you can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Fully Raw Christina. All right, you guys, I'm excited to embark on this journey with you. I'm excited about this challenge, and I really do hope that you join me. Sending you all my hugs and my love. Bye. So try something like my soul shine juice, my Oh, okay. So try something like my holy grail juice. My... <coughs> I always say that you can always comment in the... <coughs> Gorgeous, giant, ginormous rainbow salad. Ginormous, rainbow, gigantic, colorful salad. <laughs> okay. <laughs>